I'm sure all of us have been in a situation where we all have to take tests, and we're all nervous when we take tests and things like that. I've taken quite a few tests, so I'm, I, I'd say I'm a, you know, a, sort of an expert on taking tests. Some tests more important than, than others, some uh, life-changing, some uh, you know, just regular simple tests. And uh, I'm basically going to give you some tips that will, uh, you can do before you take the test. Uh, these aren't like study uh, tips or anything like that, but like things that will help you get you more relaxed and uh, uh, relieve some stress before you take this test. First, what I'm going to give you is a worst case scenario on uh, what can happen before you take the test. Well, first, you come in late to the test, you know, uh, you're tired, you're sleepy, you're hungry, uh, you didn't even know there was a test that day, you come in and like, oh my gosh, there's a test, you don't have any of your pencils, or scantrons, and uh, you're unfocused and you're stressed out. You know, that, that would possibly be the, my worst case scenario if I ever had to come in and take the test. Um, so what I'm going to do is like uh, starting with the earliest thing you can do, uh, progressing forward to right before you take the test on, on uh, like how you can prepare. First, don't pull an all-nighter. It's, it's always so tempting because you haven't studied or anything like that. It's so tempting to pull an all-nighter, but the lack of sleep can cause you to uh, you know be unfocused and cause you to make simple mistakes that can uh, affect uh, what happens next. You know, you wake up late, you fall asleep, you wake up late. Fall behind on things you need to do. Um, you can take at least three hours of sleep. Just to, uh, at, at the bare minimum, just take at least three hours. That way, uh, you uh, you know have enough energy to get through the test, and then afterwards you can just crash and things like that. But I, I definitely recommend at least eight hours. You know, eight hours you know would be perfect. You know, if you want to take that test. Uh, no, uh, when where the test is and get there early. That's, that's, that's pretty simple, but you know, sometimes it's something you know, that we can't control, but you know, it's always best to uh, well, set an alarm, set an alarm before you wake up, or you know, if you uh, need to get somewhere on time, set, set an alarm. You know, try your best not to come in late. One, that, that disturbs the other students. Two, it like, uh, creates an you know, unstable environment for you because you're already late, you're behind on the test, they probably already passed out the test. They were already progressing through the test, and you're falling behind, and you become more and more stressed as you uh, take the test. Uh, five to ten minutes before the test uh, would be great, uh, so you could um, prepare and things like that. Um, um, the last thing you want to do is get to the location and be stressed out. And another thing, know the location of the test. A couple times, um, I, I went to Texas Tech University. And then what they wouldn't always have the test. They'd have like a big giant group test, and they wouldn't always have the test in uh, you know the same location as your class is. They'll have it in like a giant auditorium. You walk into your class, and no one's there. And it's like there's a test today. Why is no one here? And you uh, find out, oh, they moved the test to uh, you know, the auditorium so they can uh, fit all the students in. Uh, when you get there, be prepared. Uh, have the necessary materials: pencils, your calculator. Pens, your scantrons, uh, things like that. Um, you know, it's always you know when you interact with the other students, it uh, create gets you more nervous. Things like that. Um, you know, you're asking someone, begging someone for a pencil. You're scrounging around trying to find a pencil. Um, if you don't have a scantron, you can't even take the test. So, luckily, sometimes people will have extras. Some people are more prepared than others. Uh, take care of your bodily needs. Eat, drink. And uh, go to the restroom. Um, a couple times I'm taking the test, and someone will have always, always someone has to get up and go to the restroom. Um, they, they may have some sort of problem, but you know it's always best to go to the restroom beforehand. Uh, finally, you need to focus mentally, uh, get your uh, brain relaxed. Uh, one, one of the best uh, relaxing techniques is to uh, count down from ten to one, breathing in deeply. In and out, in and out, ten seconds before uh, you know, before you take the test. Another thing, um, it's very tempting um, to do. But don't talk to anyone else before you take the test. Uh, people will uh, distract you. Uh, sometimes they'll be more nervous than you, and that nervousness is uh, quite infectious to the other students. You know, you talk to them and like, are you ready for this test? Are you did you study? It's like, yeah, I did. I'm pretty, I'm pretty prepared, but did. Might be something on a test you don't want to do that because 
it can get you nervous. Um, you can get them nervous. Um, and then, uh, last two things: be comfortable. Uh, you know, wear comfortable clothing, um, so you aren't like scratching or itching during the test. And you're uh, moving around, and always be positive. Don't uh, down yourself before you take the test. You know, don't uh, think you can't do it. You know, more than likely you're, you're going to do well if you attend the classes and things like that. So, in recap, you know, don't come in late. Know where the test is um, and when the test is. H have your materials. Be focused and uh, try to relieve some of your stress and uh, make sure you get some sleep. And uh, that's all. That's my speech. Thank you for listening. <laughs>